perimeter of sectors. Okay, so you got to remember that. Okay, circumference. Okay, circumference is to pi r or pi d. Okay, so that's a circumference. Now, let's work on um, sector now. Let's say, for example, I give you one sector. Okay, just to start with basic one first, easy one first. So let's say this is this is a shape given, and the radius. Let's say the radius r is a radius which is eight centimeters, right? So to find the perimeter of this, what happened is you got part of a circle, a sector. In another word, a quarter of the circle, and then you got eight, the radius eight and eight as well. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Let's say perimeter, okay, is equal to. We're gonna work out the harder one first. This one, we're gonna find this length. Now this length is part of a circle. So circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So we got 2 pi r, right? Now if you do this, it gives you the whole circle. So we only want one quarter of it. So you just time by a quarter. Okay, that will give you, that will give me this one here. Okay, so that's one quarter. And we're gonna add this one as well, 8 and 8. So that means you add 2 lots of 8, which is 16. Or you can just write 2 times 8, okay? Now we just put the uh, radius in, okay? Just substitution, that's all. 2 pi, okay, times the radius, which is 8, and you times by 1 quarter, okay? Then you add 16, okay? So if you type this in your calculator, you should get like 228 pi, okay, 5, 6, okay and so on right now let's say if I just want let's say let's say this let's say this activity we just want to do one decimal place throughout the whole thing okay makes it easier for us okay so let's say two decimal place so two decimal place mean I mean one decimal place I just want to do sorry just one one decimal place make it easier so let's say from here to here okay we just want up to here one decimal place mean one number up to decimal point. So we, before I write 28.56, I look at the one up to five, see? Because it's greater than five, all right? You add one to this. So your answer is 28.6, okay? Because you add one to five because it's, it's, um, the next number is greater than five. And don't forget the unit, so centimeters, okay? Now let's move on next one. Okay, let's say this one is this. Let's say I draw a diagram out. Okay, and then this is here. Okay, so this one is, what sort of shape do you have there? That's right. Okay, half of circle, or semicircle. Okay, so this one from one end to another end is six centimeters, which is diameter. Okay, so I, oh, I just use perimeter, okay, of this. I work out this length first. This one here is half of a circle. So perimeter, circumference of this arc so of the circle is 2 pi r. Okay, now this time, if I do this, what happened? I get the whole half of the whole circle. But I don't want that, okay? Only one half of circle. So what I do, I need to divide this by, by 2 or times by a half, okay? That will give me this length, all right? Then I need to add this as well, because perimeter, okay, all the length around it, okay? So which is six, so I'm gonna add six, okay? Then I just substitute in. Now because of radius, this diameter is six, so radius must be six divided by two, okay? Di diameter divided by two, so give me the radius, which is three, so that means two, pi time time three then you time by a half okay then you add six all right so if i type that in my calculator okay exact all right i will get one five point four two four seven seven and so on okay but i want only one decimal place okay so which is fifteen point four and then we look at the number next to four 
is less than 5. So your answer will be 15.4 centimeters. Okay, so that's, that's what you get for the perimeter. Now, the next one, okay, if I do this, this next one is, let's say, this one here. Okay, so this one here is a sector as well, all right? That's with 30 centimeters. So this is 5 centimeters, and the angle is 30, right? So to find this, the perimeter of this is arc length. So you find this first, so 2 pi r, and you time by 30, because it's 30 degree out of 360. So 30 out of 360 degree. All right, so 30 degree out of 360. That's what I want. So then I add, okay, this length as well. I add 5, then I add this 5, so which is 10, right? So now I just plug this number in. So you got 2 pi times 5 times 30 over 360. Okay, that's what I get for the arc length, this one here. Then I add 5, another 5, which is 10. So which is at 10. All right? So which is, if I, if I type that in my calculator, okay, I will get 12.6, okay, 1, 7, 9, and so on. Again, I just want one decimal place. So the answer is this. And then because this is after 1, after 6 is 1, so therefore is 12.6 centimeters. That is the perimeter. Okay? Now, let's move along. Okay. So now, this time, let's say I got a, let's say I, I draw it out. I'm not going to tell you. I want you to put thought into it. Okay? So let's say I got these shapes here. Okay, I got these shapes. This one. Okay? And I got this. Okay? And um, this. So, which is 5 centimeters. Okay? Now, then have a look. Okay, what do I have here? So, technically, I have a square and half of circle. Agree? Yep. Okay. Now, we do perimeter. Okay, do perimeter. I do the harder one first, this one here. Okay, this length here, around here, is half of circle. So circumference circle is 2 pi r. Okay, and a time by a half. That will give me this. All right, that will give me this here. Okay, then I add 5. I add 5 and I add 5, which is 3 lots of 5. So plus 3 lots of 5 is... 15, or you can just write 5 times 3, okay? As simple as that. Now, then, 2 pi times the radius, because the diameter is 5, okay? You can use pi d, so to pi times 5 easier, but because I always use that, so may as well. So the radius is 5 divided by 2, which is 2.5, okay? So you times by 2.5, and then you add, 5 times 3 or 15, if you like. Then just type that in your calculator. So you should get 30.7079 and so on. And then one decimal place, so I just write up to 30.7, right? Before you write 30.7, don't forget, you look at number next after 7. So 0, so your answer is 30.7 centi meters okay that's good all right you're doing well okay so let's let's move along so uh, let's say give you a funny shape here okay let's have a look uh let's say how i do this let me have a look okay let's go to a bit one two three four five one two three four five okay we do up to here and then here all right now this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That's not right. I'll do a bit more. So make it a square, okay? So I draw up to here. 
sorry about that. Okay, now you got a square, right? So this is a square, a square, and then let's say half of that. Let's say half. So I got this. I got this shape here. Okay, half of that roughly, and then half of that, and then half of that. All right. So. Say, let's say from here, all the way from here to here, is 7 centimeters, okay? So same as this one, of course, because it's a square centimeters, which is 7. Now, how do you find the length of this? Okay, this length here, okay? We are, I'm talking about this length, okay? Just in case, if you don't know, I highlight it for you. So how do you find that? Now, think about it, okay? What do I have here? Well, I have four quarter of the circle. So all four quarter, it become one circle, isn't it? See, one quarter, two quarter, four quarter. So which is one circle. So therefore, very simple. So circumference of a circle is 2 pi r or pi d, okay? You can just do pi d. So therefore, 2 pi, I use 2 pi time radius. So radius is, is uh, 3.5 because r is 7 divided by 2 is... 2.5, okay? So 2.5, or se pi times 7, doesn't matter, however you use it, as long as you know the process, okay? That's, that's just important. So if you type that in, okay, so you should get 21.9911 some, something, right? So I want one, des uh, one decimal place, so up to 21.9, there you go. Now, again, don't forget, before I write 21.5, I need to look at the one after number 9. So therefore, it's 9. So you add 1 to this. So instead of 21.9, now what should it be? Yes, 22.0. Okay, that's called one decimal place. Okay, centimeters. Okay, if you can't, then use your calculator, round it off, just in case if you don't know. Okay, if you're not so sure, so you can use calculator, round it off for you. All right? Okay, let's move on. You're doing really well, okay? Let's do the next one. Okay, so let's say I've got a shape like this, okay? Um, I do this. Okay, I do this. And then up here, and I've got a shape. It just go like that. Alright? Okay, halfway is here, roughly. Then uh, what I do, what do I have? I have this. Okay, and these shapes here. There you go. I want to find the perimeter of that. Okay, so let's say this is 8 centimeters. Okay, all the way from here to here is 8 centimeters. So therefore, okay, it looks really, really confused, but think about it. Okay, all I have is, let's say, if I highlight this, this one here, all I have here is half a big circle, and then, okay, and then, a small half of small circle here and another half of small circle. So this here is become one circle. Okay, so this is become one small circle. Okay, I just clear that one first. Okay. Sorry. I just try to get rid of that first. I redraw this. Like that. Yeah? So now the perimeter of the bigger circle, okay, is 2 pi r, okay, or pi d. Let's do pi r, because I, I just use this all the time, makes it easier to follow. So the perimeter is 2 pi big r, because it's big r, so I make it big r, okay? And then add, okay, 2 pi r for this one here, circle as well. See, this one circle, half of circle, sorry, add this up, become the whole circle. So I don't have to do anything with that, so just go... Sorry, this one here, my apologies, I time a half as well, don't forget, okay, because half of it, okay, half of the big circle, and one whole small circle, so I plus 2 pi r with the small one, okay, so now the big circle is have the big r is 8, okay, don't forget, because the big a is all the way from here to here, okay, so this is here, 
So this one from here to here is a big radius, so which is 8. So it go 2 pi times 8 times a half, okay? Add 2 pi times the small radius. Now, because the, the, the radius of the big one is 8, now it's actually the diameter of the small circle. So therefore, the small circle, the radius small circle is 8 divided by 2, the answer is 4, so you turn by 4. Okay, so that gives me a whole circle. Okay, so that's what you get. So if you type that in your calculator, okay, you should get 50, okay, 50.254 and so on. So your answer should get 50.3, okay, because one decimal place, okay, so centimeters. Okay, so you go draw up to here. But because after 4 is 5, so halfway you add 1 to it. All right? Thank you. Let's do one more. Last one. Okay? Last one. You're doing really, really well. Okay? So you see all sort of shapes and the process are exactly the same. So what I do, okay, I draw another one. So let's say, let's say this one from here to here. Okay? And then one, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I draw this up to here. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Just make it a square, that's all. Now, let's say I connect this. Okay, this is that. And this one here, I got another one from here to here. Okay? Okay, beat that. All right. Look, I redraw this. Sorry, this doesn't look too good. Okay, I just go. There you go. All right. So what do I have? This is a, a quarter. Okay. So what I do, I put the number in first, of course. Let's say this is just like that. All right. So this is 12. Let's say this is 12 as well. Okay. So it's 12. All right. So we've got a square here and you've got an arc. So that becomes a quarter of a circle. And then you've got here, the up here is half of a circle right so that's all so what that means is i'm just start from the um, the top okay so this one here this one half of circle so the perimeter the perimeter of this is 2 pi r but then half of it only so you turn by r okay and then the other one this one here okay i make a different r of course so this is a bigger one are you bigger r easier so I don't confuse myself okay so sorry at this one here I instead of time time a half I time r sorry about that this is a half okay so two pi r give me the the green one okay and then time a half because only half of circle now I'm gonna do the yellow one so which is at okay two pi r big r of course so that is different so then you turn by a quarter because quarter of the circle, right? So time a quarter. Now I just I just substitute this number in. So two pi times small r. Small r is this one from here to here is only six because all the way from here to here is twelve. So therefore halfway must be six. So you turn by six times a half. Okay? Then you add two pi time the radius bigger radius so which is 12 okay so the radius of this is just like the diameter of the smaller circle so you time this by 12 i'm so sorry so you time by 12 okay and then you time by one quarter that's all now what you need to do you just type exactly the same you don't have to open gold bracket because i saw some students that just open bracket you type that in and plus or close you don't need to okay scientific calculator will take care of that so you just type that exactly the same okay then you should get okay 49.69 okay 99 nine and so on okay right or, or you can up to here and then we round up and then become seven okay so your answer is 49.7 centimeters.
that's all. Thank you for watching my video. You're doing